Hello everyone, hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. We're in episode number 70 today. As always, I'm Shane. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Head over to codekarate.com, sign up for the newsletter. If the book contest is still going on, go ahead and leave a comment on the book contest page for a chance to win. Today we're going to be going over the Drupal 7 CAPTCHA module. And this is just one example of the many different types of CAPTCHA modules that are available. We're going over one today. I'm sure I'll go over other ones in the future. I haven't used this one on a lot of sites, but on the few that I have, it seems to work fairly well. I've also, I'd also recommend the Mala module as well, is one that I've used often, and I will probably go over that in a future episode. But today we're discussing the CAPTCHA module. What's great about this one is there's no third-party service. You install it, and it's very configurable. It just works right out of the box. So I have a test site here. And if, as you can see, I have the CAPTCHA module and the image CAPTCHA module turned on. So I'll go ahead and click on Configure. And the default challenge type is just a math challenge. So we'll go over that one first. You can go ahead and select the forms here that you want the CAPTCHA to display on. So let's go ahead and use the math CAPTCHA on the user registration form. We'll go ahead and use an image CAPTCHA on the user login block and user login so we can see the different types of CAPTCHA that are available. You can add a description, change the description text. There you can change if it's case sensitive or not. And a couple other small settings here. Go ahead and save this. You can also log the wrong responses which can sometimes be helpful if you feel like you're getting hit by a lot of spam or a lot of things are getting caught. So I'll go ahead and flip to another browser here where I'm not logged in. If I refresh this page, you can see the image capture comes up. It's a little bit outside the boundary, but that's not too big of a deal. If I go to the Create New Account, you'll see there's a math question. So as you can tell, I need to solve this math question in order to create a new account. So I'll go ahead and just put in an email. solve the math question and I will be on my way. And as you can see that worked. I'll go ahead and go back to creating a new account and I will try one with a, a math question that doesn't work just so we can see the message that comes up. So if I put in a wrong answer it's going to, of course, tell me the answer you entered for the CAPTCHA was not correct. So that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and try the login page. You can see this is an image CAPTCHA. And in this case, it's relatively easy. DBC9M. Could enter that in and go ahead and log into an account that way. However, one thing cool about this module is there is a variety of different settings for you to use as far as the image CAPTCHA is concerned. So if you go to the configuration page for the image CAPTCHA, you can see an example. You can select which characters you want to use, the code length. So let's change this to 6, for instance. We'll use the same font. We can change the font size down a little, change the character spacing, background colors, different file formats. And this is one of the cool parts as well. You can change the distortion. So we can add a medium amount of distortion. And there's a bunch of different options. So we'll save this. And if we refresh the page here, you can see that it's starting to get a little bit more difficult. There's six now. And that gets to be a little more difficult to read. And obviously, the more difficult you make it to read, the more difficult it is for bots to be able to determine from the image what it needs to be. So we'll turn it down just a little bit, see if it gets a little bit better. And you can, of course, fine-tune it to the needs of your site. As you can see, that's a little bit more difficult to read, but easier than it was before. So that's probably an acceptable amount for what I would want to go for. But, of course, it's your own opinion. Go ahead and tweak it as you see fit. There's also some other cool things here. You can add some noise to it. And we'll change the noise down a little bit and save it. As you can see, it gets 
a little bit of dots that come through the image to make it a little more difficult. You can refresh here and see it in action. It makes it much more difficult to read. So it's very configurable. You can make it as easy or as difficult as you want. It's definitely something I would recommend having, especially if you're launching a site to the public and there's going to be a lot of forums. You just don't want to get hit too much by bots or spam on your site. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think. If you have any other episodes you want me to do or any other modules, go ahead and let me know on CodeKarate.com. And thanks again for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. See you next time.